Hey, hey. <laughs> what's happening? Let's introduce ourselves. How's that sound? Well, you go first. Uh, okay, I'm Callum, uh, and I play Thomas in the movie. Hey, I'm Kiersey. I play Mimi. And I'm Mark Webb, the director of Only Living Boy in New York, and we're here at uh, Facebook Live doing some live Facebooking. Uh, it's very exciting. We're going to answer some questions. Uh, and, you know, why don't you start, Kiersey? Okay, well, I'm going to ask you the question. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I um, feel like you should ask no. Mark this question, though, well, because oh. this is... Okay, that's good. <laughs> so there's, there's, a, there's a better story, I feel like. Okay. Mm. What was your first reaction after reading the script? Uh, now that I have pressure, I'm going to make up there's some no kind of thing. Uh, no, it was, uh, I read it uh, many, many years ago. It was uh, written like 13 or 14 years ago, and I read it before I did my first movie, 500 Days of Summer, and I tried to get hired, and they, uh, they laughed me out of the office. They didn't think I was, uh, uh, that I had enough experience and uh, so, oh. uh, so they, uh, then uh, I, after I was doing some other movies, uh, I called back up and they had sent me the script again and I, and I got it, I, then I attached. And, uh, but my first reaction to actually answer the question that was asked was I, I loved the, the opening, the, that relationship between WF and Thomas mm -hmm. and like the idea that we could sort of complete each other's sentences and there was that sort of warmth mentor mentorish kind of relationship. I wish I knew somebody like that when I was 22 years old. Mm -hmm. I was also, you Was it the you know, same? Was it the same script or was it? Well, it was different. Like the, the ending, had, we changed the ending. The, the, what happens with you guys, I don't want to ruin it for people, what happened in the original draft, it, there's something, a, else, happened. something else happened. Uh, mm. Yes. So, which felt a little weird, so we changed it. Okay. Yeah. What about you? What was your first reaction? Oh, are we all answering? Yeah. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. What was the reaction though? What was it? Oh, my reaction was, um, I don't know. I feel like I was going through a lot of different emotions reading it, but I was thrilled. And I obviously, at the time that I read it, I already knew that you were doing it. So that uh, was exciting. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, there was an added thing for sure with you being on it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, my reaction was, wow. Uh, when, you read, when, you first, when did you first read it? I read it maybe like June last year. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. And, and then when did we talk? Time. We like we talked in July. July, yeah, July. yeah. So it was yeah. pretty quick, quick after. Yeah. All and right. You left me hanging for a bit. I did. Well, you know, we had to go through all of our, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. our processes. Well, that's funny because you got left hanging for first in the beginning. They were yes, not letting you have it. It's all about left leaving. Hanging. Yeah, but you got a call. Like but that. I was we just like, like <laughs> you're like, <laughs> okay, chiching. All right. So, uh, what was it like working with a cast that has this much experience? That's a good question for you guys. Uh, it's kind of mad. I mean, I guess that those guys combine like 150 years of work between yeah. them, you know, yeah. and like you're working with big hitters that you've watched for years and years and years. And Jeff is obviously like a screen icon. Yeah. So it was a real beautiful. And you had a lot of head to head yeah, man, time with him. We had like him. a whole week yeah. of rehearsals, and then the yeah. first week was with Jeff. Mm -hmm. um, and then Casey came along, and then. Yeah. Me all these years that I've just, just been out here. Yeah. <laughs> just working. Here's the big <laughs> heavy hitter. Yeah. 200 years. Uh -huh. oh, that uh, was a good answer. Let's do the next question. All right, good. <laughs> Wait, you don't want to answer that? Do we all have to answer no, all the questions? That's a lot. Do you know I'm all of the lyrics to any Simon and Garfunkel songs? I didn't, all and would lyrics, you like to sing a little bit? No, I don't know all the lyrics. Shine, 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 shine. Tom. Well, this, this, the, the song actually does inform the movie in a way, because yeah. the song was written by Paul Simon um, a, a, to Art Garfunkel, who was going to make Catch-22 with Mike Nichols, and his character's name was Tom, and that's where, the, that's where Thomas's name came from, and the last name Webb, which is, also happens to be my last name, but it's not affiliated with me. I, it's not autobiographical in that way. Um, I have slept with my father's mistress. But oh, uh, my still God. Up. oh still up. I shouldn't have given, I I didn't, I didn't want to I give that up. I never even thought that you guys had the same last no, name. No, but it was based on the guy who wrote The Graduates. Uh, his, name, mm. uh, uh, his last name is Webb, too. So, or really? the, who wrote the novel. The screenplay was written by Buck Henry. But, uh, big old Webb. And there's also the line about taking your young man and take yourself too seriously, yeah. which is kind of Thomas's yeah. get up uh -huh. of being well, too serious. Yeah, and yeah, Visions of Johanna, which is also in the movie, there's that line. Yeah, there's another line like, uh, oh, what, what is Dylan, it? Dylan, that's Dylan. Right? Yeah, that's the Dylan song. Um, that, like, little boy lost, Take takes himself so, so seriously. Oh, it's the Dylan song. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Yeah. All right. Next, next one. They next liked beat. that question. Do you have a favorite scene in the movie? 
I think it's the scene with Mimi. <laughs> I love that the I, I love the opening with you. I had a lot of fun oh. doing that. Oh, in the yeah, oh, and the cab the, stuff too. I mean, it's not my favorite. Oh, the cab, it's my the favorite. cab was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, where you get changed in the back of the cab. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. All my skills of changing cars. I like Jeff's scene at the end of the bar. I thought it was good. We yeah. don't want to give it away, but like, it's a, I thought it was a good moment. He just killed that. He murdered yeah, that was... scene. Um, all right, next one. What's your favorite thing about New York City? Walking. Pizza. <laughs> They're walking? two completely separate. <laughs> you're from, like, I'm from London. I walk everywhere. I know. You could walk and have pizza, and At then the your time. life would just. But, but that's my point. Like pizza pizza when I, walk I do. Everywhere. That's my point, though, is that we can walk and eat pizza at the same time. Okay. Uh -huh. I can't do that. In little, LA. I got to get this little thing off of here. I'm glad you're doing that because he has something right here, but I didn't want people oh, to yeah. be like, "Why are you touching him now?" You grew me too. It was like right. the popcorn. There you go. All right. Thank you. Wait, what was that? Pistachio. I think I love eating here. I love eating. It was a little, 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 they wouldn't have seen it from over there, so it's not like I left you hanging out. All right, so we'll go to the next one. No, I'm nervous about uh, No, there's nothing else there. What's your <laughs> least favorite thing about New York? The smells sometimes. So, like, yes, there's some pretty brutal smells. Like when like you're walking, you're huffing yeah. and puffing, and then you pass trash, and you're like, ooh. When you or pass shit. trash. Or when you just pass, like, just the smell of human pass, poop. Pass trash, I think it's something, <laughs> like, it's a euphemism for something. Did you pass, pass trash? <laughs> Did you pass trash? Did you Again. just pass it? Yeah. Again? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a good one. I think that's What's your least favorite thing about New York? Least favorite thing about As New York? As a resident. Um, the smells are rough. Uh, I don't know. I have a very romantic attachment to New York. It's hard for me to think of anything that is too that is too rough about it. Right, because um, all the pieces make it what it is. I feel that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think there is, like, there's a... Sometimes there can be like a little bit of a, a snobbery, which is part of the movie in a way. Yeah. Uh, that is a little bit frustrating. Uh, but I also kind of, there's part of that that I like too. I, you know, I have very complicated things. I just wanted no, to go on to the you. next question. Let's get I like, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if so someone asked you to describe the only living boy in New York as blank meets blank or X meets Y, what would you choose? Uh, I wanted to read it so I didn't have to answer it because it was too long. That's yours, Mark. I would say it is. Um, like Milk me. Money with Ed Harris meets uh, meets um, Step Brothers with Will Ferrell and yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it is. I mean, you know, people. I hate there is those like a, there is yeah. I, I think there's there's references, but it, I'll, I'll get I, I would get killed for mm. m making those uh, by, having delusions of grandeur. By, yeah. Okay. Yeah, by you know assorted people. If you were described only in, in, in three words, what would they be? Mm. Now we all have to do this. In all one word each? No, three, three words. Well, that's cute. One, one word, word each. each. Okay. One word each. Uh, young. Okay. It's got to go in. T t okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm making rules here. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Um, uh, sexy. Melodrama. <laughs> With a hyphen. I like one word. I, Yeah. Sure. That was a good. A young, three. sexy melodrama. That's kind of cool. That was real good. I'll say that. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I like melodramas. It is kind of a soap I do like opera. Yeah. It's like a like a like there's sort of. There's a lot going on. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot going on. But a lot it's of, young like, crazy at the same time, and, and it's sexy. sexy. Yeah. So really, go see. Go see it. <laughs> go see it. That's what we're here for. <laughs> no, we didn't do this. Uh, all right. Uh, fan fan questions. questions. Read out loud, please. Exclamation point. On both. Karen Lomelli, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but that's what I'm going to say. Karen Lomelli asks, hey, Karen, how are you doing? Have any of the cast members worked together before? Well, Pierce and Jeff did Mirror Has Two Faces. I know that. Uh, and I don't know if Cynthia had done any of uh, the other movies. I don't know. Other than that, um, I think that's, uh, you know, did you work with anybody? Nope. I hadn't worked with anybody. I really wanted to work with Wallace Shawn. Yes, I was going to say that. That actually. was cool. He's kind of worked with everybody, yeah. Uh, He's the voice of T-Rex. Yes, from Toy Story. Also, uh, My Dinner with Andre, many Woody Allen films. He uh, has makes a, a cameo in the movie. Uh, all right. Robert James, the man with two first names. Uh, any word of advice for aspiring <laughs> actors and filmmakers? Actors. Keep going. Yeah. Oh. And watch films. Mm. Keep going and watch films. And study people, though. Yeah. Watch yeah, movies yeah, yeah. and watch people. Oh, that's interesting. How, where did you learn that advice? 
Oh, that's just what I do. That's what you do. I mean, I like movies, but I watch people more than I watch movies. Uh huh. Just yeah. where? where oh, is, that's where you go? No, like. I think just because when you, I moved around a lot when I was a kid, uh-huh. and so instead of, I just at one point was like, I don't want to meet all you people and make new friends, so I'm just going to watch off from the corner instead. Uh-huh. You're lucky less... you moved around because if you stayed in one place just doing that, mm-hmm. you'd just have well, no friends. I would <laughs> <laughs> just still be there in the corner I would have just had right no friends in the corner right now. Uh, no. Yeah. Like, people watch. I think that's interesting. Yeah. I, I do like, be, like, when you're in the editing room, you're often looking at tiny little nuances of behavior to yeah. see what feels... Uh, what matches the tone of the film that you're making. And it's Hidden like, camera shows are good for that as well, yeah. actually. Yeah, you get people's see, reactions in a pressurized mm. situation, yeah. but then it's just a joke. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It is interesting. That's, that's a great way to look at it. Filmmakers, directors. Um, yeah. Watch film. I, I, yeah, I think, to me, advice for filmmakers, something I would say is, like, you have to be... I think it's okay to be really self-critical, but as long as you're not self-loathing. You have to be, have an honest opinion of your work as long as it t- doesn't dismantle you, as long as you don't take yourself too personally, if that makes sense. Because sure, yeah. like you, you can, you can. It's very easy to get paralyzed by fear and, and insecurities, but at the same time, you don't want to live in a bubble where you're not like uh, aware of of how your work is being interpreted, and, and you want to stay yeah. in touch with that. So that's my advice to you, and keep making stuff. Keep making stuff. Uh, Brandon Barry. Is this refreshing filming something original and not a remake or a sequel? Uh, it's so much fun. I mean, the last, uh, I, I spent a lot of time uh, making superhero movies, a couple Spider Man movies, and then afterwards I, I really wanted to make something, uh, some small movies, so I did a movie called Gifted and, and Only Living Boy in New York. We did them very quickly. And they were really simple. We had so much fun like on set yeah. like, with the with the cast. It was a really blast. Uh, it was really a blast for me with both those movies. And it was very nourishing to be sort of left alone and do something small and intimate. And we would spend time. I mean, we mm-hmm. we would spend time rehearsing, and then we could just yeah. kind of re- re- rewrite, rework these yeah. scenes as we saw fit. And it was a really pleasurable. Yeah. Uh, experience. And also you had a playlist too, which added to the mood. Oh yeah, I, I love that. I always music. talk yeah. about I still that. listen to that playlist. Yeah. Moon Dog, Birds Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Moon Dog is an artist. He didn't end up making in the soundtrack, uh, but he is a really interesting story. He was like six foot four. Kind of people thought he was homeless, but he's a blind man who invented his own in- instruments. And Jeff uh, is obsessed with him, but uh, he creates. Such eclectic and interesting Where's music. Where's he from? That, is he American? Yeah, he was born in Wyoming, right. and then uh, he's since passed away. But then he and he was a musical genius, but nobody really knew who he was. And then he was kind of discovered by this woman from Germany. He had a sort of a second act of a career right, right. In, in Germany. Um, Paula DeLong asks, in what ways did the story film, story slash film, affect you during filming? In what oh. ways did the story slash film affect you during filming? Um. I think the, the the scenes with my with Cynthia plays my yeah. mom was quite hard because I have a close relationship with my mom, so yeah, dealing with that it was you know it was bringing up a lot of stuff. Ah, uh, interesting. Mm. It's quite heavy. That was times. a good scene at the end of the movie, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. What about you? Um, I realized I always like try to separate myself from the person that I'm like playing. Whenever uh-huh. I like read something, I'm like looking for the differences. And in this, I like thought I saw the differences, and then we're filming, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. I have so much in common, like when it comes to confusion yeah. and just like, almost just like, because everyone keeps saying how Mimi doesn't know what she wants. Yeah. She knows what she wants. She just yeah. wants all of it. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not fair to other people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, but we've all been there. It's like, I think it's a identifiable it's moment in, up. In, yeah. the, in life. That's so me. is that what you want? You want everything. All of it. All the things. Give you'll it to have, me. you'll get everything. That's the uh, crazy thing. Uh, I think to me, like the, the theme of the movie, it, there's, a, there's a relationship with honesty and being honest. Like, I think that Thomas is like, mm. even though he's he deceives himself and deceives for a moment other people around him. I think that uh, there, I think about what I think about the story. I think about it, it's like it's kind of a quest for honesty in some way and to be to be open with the people around you. Well, the ability and, to be honest with yourself yeah. too, and it takes a, it takes a certain amount of courage yeah, and yeah, yeah. sacrifice, and and that's I, I always. Mm. It's an interesting thing to to. There are degrees of honesty, mm. and yeah. I kept that. I thought a lot about that when we were making the movie. Mm-hmm. So I think we have time for one more question. 
uh, Jimmy Ooh. Bjorklund. Um, Bjorklund, <laughs> uh, have you ever expressed uncertainty in your own acting, and how did you get past it? These guys are <laughs> wells of confidence. What? There's no insecurity what? whatsoever. No, I, the story of Jeff and I when we first met and one of the first conversations was about being nervous. Yeah. And he asked me if I was nervous, and I was like, man, it's Jeff Bridges. I can't tell him that I'm nervous. So I told him I was really nervous. <laughs> and he went, me too, man, me too. And we had this huge conversation. And uh, Well, his nerves come out in his hair, right? It's yeah. just the thing with it's his a, hair. And <laughs> he put a little surfboard in his hair before takes yeah. just to like play with it. And I think that I think you just got to go through, you know, you just got to go through it. Yeah, Jeff uh, says his, he, his anxiety tends to, uh, he, he expresses it through uncertainty about his hair. Yeah. He's like, he gets really nervous on the first day about his hair. His hair looks uh, fucking phen yeah, his phenomenal. Hair is the best hair going. Yeah, best he hair. has the greatest hair <laughs> of all time. Of all time. Um, but it's funny that how the nerves do come out. Yeah. In, they come out sideways because if you're yeah. not aware of them, he's aware of his nerves. Yeah. So he can mm. control them, he can understand them and nurture them into yeah. a way of being, like, being kind to them. Yeah, he doesn't try to repress them. Yeah, he lets them know? come out and then da 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 and then... It, it's, I think that level of awareness... Um, is probably why, one of the reasons why he's such a great actor is that he, yeah, he's yeah. like, I can, okay, I'm cataloging how this feels, and you can go and refer to that mm -hmm. later on, and it's a uh, yeah. You learn so much about yourself. You're the one that pointed out to me that I giggle when yeah. I like am getting through a line. Uh -huh. That even is just like makes me uh -huh. <laughs> like I nervous. I didn't, I didn't, you I didn't want to make you nervous. It's just, no, like, you pointed out that when I get uh -huh. nervous yeah. or when I'm like. Even just in a moment that I feel is so, mm -hmm. like, I'm so there, I'll, uh -huh. like, just, like, get, like, uh -huh. lost and, like, giggle. Because uh -huh. I, yeah, yeah, and I'm, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. I do that, too. I, I, I rub my face a lot. I have, like, yeah, little ticks. Right, right. Right. I'm, like, so it's a way to express my nervousness. Yeah. Or I put my hand on my bald spot is the other yeah. thing that I do. Which is <laughs> my, to cover it. Me, yeah. too. So, I, yeah, I'm, like, even in bed, I'm, like, yeah. this, like, so, so no one will see it now. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a weird tick I have but uh, all right I think that's it do we have any any more things we got to do we're good all right thank you for bye all thank you bye